Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the map magic together with the Vegetation Studio Pro. Here on the screen you can see the final result, but it's just because I can use the time machine named Video Editing. So we have yet to create it all. I will be using two Vegetation Studio Pro output nodes. One for the trees and one for the grass. They both were introduced in MapMagic version 1.10. I will start from an empty scene and create the MapMagic object. Then I select the MapMagic object and open up the graph window. I will dock it here. The next step I'm going to color it with the texture layers. This terrain will be mainly lit with grass. So I assign the grass layer as the background. And then two more layers. I'm going to add some cliffs on the slopes and the bulge areas. The first layer is going to be placed on the slopes, so I'm using the slope node. It will be the dark leaf layer. And for the bulge areas, I'm going to use the cavity node. I will assign the bright cleave texture here. So let's have a look of what we've got before we proceed to the next stage. Well, this should be fine. I will just tidy up a graph a bit. And proceed to the next step. This one is the most important. I will add the Vegetation Studio Pro component to the scene and will set it up. As you may know, it could be added via Window Menu, Awesome Technologies, Add Vegetation Studio Pro to the scene. Next, I will add my prepared Vegetation Studio package in the Biomes tab. As you can see, I've got a couple of trees here and some sorts of grass. The important thing is that I've got runtime spawn disabled for the trees. However, it's still enabled for the grass, but we will look into it later. Then I'm going to set up the Vegetation Studio area size. Since it will be using with the dynamic terrains, I can't leave the automatic calculation here. Otherwise, it will be changing with each new terrain appeared and uh, this can cause some issues. Finally, since I'm going to use the VS Pro objects output, I've got to assign the persistent storage. This is an asset where the positions of all of the manually placed trees are stored. MapMagic will write into it upon the generate. After a sign, I will initialize the persistent storage. I don't know if it's necessary, but I don't mind pressing it. So, to set up the vegetation studio, we've got to use three steps. First, set up the biome package, then set the area size, and then, if we are going to use the object's output, set the persistent storage package. And now it's time to add some trees. I will scatter them with the scatter node and then output them with the VS Pro objects output node. I'm assigning the same package I've used in the Vegetation Studio setup. Then add the new layer and assign pine trees here. You can see the pines appeared here and there, but I'm going to create the forest, so I will increase the scatter density or even more. A moment, it will take a couple of seconds. Yes, this is the real forest I'd like to get. Now 
First problem I can see with it is that the trees are growing at the cliffs. To remove them, I will mask the scatter with the grass texture mask. Well, that's good enough. Uh, well, no, not at all. I will just make the mask a bit more contrast. We'll be using the curve node to do this. Well, that's fine. But here you can see the other problem with the trees. They are all rotated the same. I will fix it with the just node. And I will adjust the scale, by the way. So, we've got the fine looking pine forest. But the bad thing is that it consists only of pines. It's kinda gloomy in here, so I'm going to add a bit more light. And now I'm going to replace some of the pines with the birches. I will be using the noise mask to do this and the special mask split node. This node sorts all of the input objects using the provided mask. It places the objects into the high output if the mask level is high, and stores the object into a low output if the mask value is low at uh, the object position. Then as you can see I've added uh, the new tree layer and connected to the mask split node. It plants the birches everywhere, just because we haven't provided the mask yet. It uh, stores all of the objects to the low output. So we'll create the noise mask to sort the objects. Here I will turn on the preview to see how does the mask works. I'm going to make uh, the noise pattern smaller. And much, much more contrast. Well, this should be okay. Here you can see that the mask split node works as it should. It plants pines on the green spots where the high values are and birches at the red spots where the low values are. Don't need the preview anymore. Now we'll just fly through the forest to see if uh, I'm uh, happy with it. It badly needs some bushes and some small trees, but it's out of the scope of this tutorial. But all in all it's good enough. And now it's time for the grass. I will be using the VS Pro Texture Masks feature to edit. I'm adding a new mask group in Texture Masks tab. And then I'm going to enable and set up the Texture Masks rules for the specific grass types. Make sure that Runtime Spawn is enabled, as well as use Texture Mask Include rule. Then I add the new rule for the grass texture mask and the red channel of the texture. It was the sedge grass. Now I'm going to set up the nettle. Well, I've made this texture using the real nettle, but 
Actually, it looks more like uh, some kind of flowers. The same mask, but now I'll be using the green channel. Now I'll add the group to store all the tree nodes, just to keep the graph organized. Now it's time to add the VS Pro Maps node. I add the node, select the package I'm using for all of the Vegetation Studio, and then I add the Sage layer. I set the same red channel as I set before in the Vegetation Studio setup. You can see the grass appeared. But uh, it's uh, a bit hard to see what's going on because the forest is too dense. I will lower the trees count a bit. Note that the sedge layer is following uh, the mask rules. It isn't growing on the cliffs. The grass is looking a bit uniform here, so I will add uh, nettle and make it grow in uh, random places. Uh, the grass is gone. This is because the nettle is using the same red channel and nothing is connected into the red input. I switch it to green as we set it in the mask rule. And as an example, I will be using the noise node uh, to create the mask for the nettle. If I turn on the preview, you can see that the nettle is growing on the green spots. And there is no nettle, only the sedge on the red ones. You can see that the nettle is mixing up with the sedge on the masked areas. To fix it, I will use the Obscure Layers feature. It makes the grass layers mixing up like Photoshop layers. This way, the each new next layer is removing all of the layers below. But still, we've got an issue with the nettle. Here is the place that shows it. It is growing on the rocks. To fix this, We've got to multiply the nettle mask with the overall grass mask. In the places where the grass mask is zero, the nettle mask would be zero too. I will create the blend node for this and switch it to multiply mode. Then I will connect the blend inputs to both nettle noise and the overall grass masks. This way it cleans the nettle bushes on the cliffs. Well, now the grass seems to be looking fine. I will just add a group for it, like I've done for the trees. And here's the way the overall graph looks. Now I'd like to have a look what we finally got from the player's perspective. I will save the current scene and open the one from the MapMagic demo folder. Then I will copy up the character object and paste it into the saved scene. Then I start the play mode and begin falling down to the forest we've created. I have to admit that it looks rather simple, but keep in mind that the graph we were using wasn't complicated too. 
at least the purpose of this tutorial was to show how to use the VS Pro objects and VS Pro maps outputs. And this is what we've just seen. I'll include this graph with the new MapMagic version, so you could open up this scene and fiddle with it yourself. So, hope you're enjoying the MapMagic, you're enjoying the Vegetation Studio Pro, and thanks for watching. Bye!